history and change have to start somewhere. We are at the Stephen Lawrence Centre in Lewisham, a place that brings hope out of injustice and where a group of young people have come to lay a foundation for that change. Stephen Lawrence was a black teenager who was a victim of a racist murder. This building was created in his memory as a place for inspiring young people who want to break the cycle of negative stereotypes. This week, the Stephen Lawrence Center is home to SHAKE, a project in which young people will learn to use art to challenge injustice. Censorship. My name is Jane Trowell and I work with Platform and we're an organisation that brings together artists and campaigners and activists and researchers and we had the idea that it would be very interesting to collaborate with Stephen Lawrence Centre and to create a summer school with them here at the centre in Deptford. The news, <laughs> yeah, whose news is it? So it's a rolling experiment in talking about difficult issues, politics, race, power, through the arts. <laughs> Shake brought together young people from a range of backgrounds and interests. There's so many changes that I'd like to see, but I think um, one kind of really big one um, is just apathy. Once we start being proactive, that's when, you know, change begins to happen. I'd like to see a positive change in the government, something, a government that really listens to the people. The centre is home to an artwork dedicated to the memory of political activist Ken Saro Wewa from the Niger Delta. Ben from Platform told the group about Ken's story. What he was campaigning for was environmental justice. He saw that oil companies had been in the region, in the Niger Delta, for 40 years. And yet, local people lived in poverty. Oil companies had been spilling oil in the farmland, in the creeks, in the water and rivers of the Niger Delta. And so, under Ken's leadership, we saw some of the largest protests that the world has ever seen against an oil company. Shell worked together with the Nigerian military government in repressing the Ogoni campaign and protests. They hanged Ken for campaigning for environmental justice, all in the name of Shell. Hearing the stories of Ken and Stephen Lawrence shocked us and inspired us to learn how to bring about change. And the overall feeling from the group was like a feeling of sickness, mm. that um, so much was going on, yet there was so much silence. The phrase that came to me was, silence is deafening. Essentially, one of the obstacles that like stop people from taking on these mass companies is um, wealth. Mm -hmm. So part of knowledge can actually empower you and makes you know that when you know things, you actually feel differently. He spoke up, and even though it was very negative, but they didn't give up. He spoke up, and that's why still today we are now here doing this workshop, so we know about it. So there is a positive, and there is a there is a value of speaking up. Shake involved artists from the spoken word, DJing and filmmaking. Take your time, don't you run before kids. My name is Zina Edwards, um, I'm a writer, performer, um, but I've been making my living as a spoken word artist, performance poet, uh, workshop facilitator. So my name is Simon Murray, I'm also known as Simon Rai, and uh, I've I tend to concentrate on the disciplines of graphic design and writing. Wilberforce. Do not upset the sponsors. No, it's not hypocritical. Feel free to speak freely, just make sure it's not political. People know me as the Eric Soul, the DJ, but my birth name is Karengera Kirenga Eric. DJ artwork is my is my discipline, is my, is my, is my trade um, and I've been working that for more than 20 years. I've been travelling all over the world with it. Most young people are interested in arts so it can be used as a way to um, um, connect with each other and it's a language young people can un understand. Art is that interpretation so it can bring out so many reactions and it's easier to comprehend because it's like visual or you can hear it or see it, touch it. So you get to use your other senses, but from, apart from just trying to understand it, you actually interpret it, make it a part of you. 
At the start of day two, the participants were separated into the three art form groups to work on their creative responses to the issues. You don't want to be left alone. Hold the addictiveness of laying between the sheets with your corporate girl. Every day she makes you think that you can own the whole world. What we're hoping to achieve um, this week is um, letting the young people be aware of their voices. Um, we're talking quite, about quite huge issues. So we're hoping that all the information that, um, that they, they learn, say through the case of Ken Sarawiwa and Stephen Lawrence, that we're using those as like templates um, through which they can get an understanding about speaking politically or yeah. using art um, as a tool for activism. By the blues and the greys, it seems like an eternity before I look back at the white paper. I've been a part of the writing and um, performance group um, so we've been really like write, creating poems from just our thoughts and the information that we've been kind of receiving throughout the week. There's been a history of certain individuals and certain artists who have used the music as a platform to voice concerns uh, about society, um, about human being. Um, in a very creative way. And how to adapt the pitch. Once you know that, you're on your way to charge 2,000 pounds for an hour. <laughs> We've been learning how to mix and blend music together and starting and um, stopping at play. I'm the selector and you back to back DJs. We've been looping the music to make a part of a music repeat itself. The film group were also busy in our workshops, almost too busy to film ourselves. Well, I've been working with the film crew, which has been quite interesting. By the end of the project, the Shakers had found their voice. My voice shakes because I'm afraid of the possibilities. I'm afraid that if I speak too loud, you might just hear what I'm saying. My voice, the microphone connected to that hollow speaker box, in that hollow room, that hollowness within my head and my heart. And it will be loud. The bass will flow through your veins, your brain, to the ends of your fingers, the smallest hair follicle. Power comes in numbers. Tremble becomes a tremor, London underground beneath your feet. Possibilities, sounds get louder, shakes the ground. Picturesque becomes obscene. Tremors shudder, the earth cracks from the strain. Who am I? Do I know my own mind? This part of me feels hollow, like there's nothing inside. Black, 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 the only colour seen. Black as the far reaches of the colossal universe. Blackness that envelops the land. Suffocating, gasping, still, dead. The woman and child tread past the pipelines, a track that leads them to a destination of hopelessness. Unable to change direction, they suffer for nothing. Suffering for those who claim to be people, but are barbarians that feast on the pain of others and feed their hungry spawns. Yet all these Agoni people crave is the tender caress of their sacred motherland. Making love between the sheets with your corporate girl, you start to believe you can own the world. Possibilities of wealth are endless. Every night, baby, I love you. But nevertheless, car, she don't care, whatever. She's a vessel hollow and it don't get no better. Can't be ever filled, ever. Longing for a calm way to tomorrow. So the beggar on the street can do nothing. Nothing but pray the man in the mansion is happy, although it destroys him first. For him, the ink stopped flowing, the heart, is just about beating. I'm on a climbing frame, climbing quickly, but still, still trying to hold on to my childhood, 
Remembering Universal Studios and Nickelodeon when it used to be good. Remembering Keenan and Cal and Sister Sister. But the higher I climb, the less I remember. So when I walk into that utopia, I am no longer afraid. I know that God is forever walking beside me, holding my hand in the lands of which I don't yet understand, but will understand, strengthening the armour surrounding me. Our souls are the same. We're interconnected just like a tree. Each branch varies in width, shape and colour, but they derive from the same roots and return belonging to that tree that provides protection, balances the air and beautifies everything. The problem is universal. I just got one question. Miss Capitalist, why are you so evil? How can you sleep at night when you even snake your own people? She's got no loyalty. Better fix up, look at yourself, honestly. Freedom from expectation starts with you and me. Flower buds emerging like snowdrops after the rain, green fists of defiance, standing shaken, rooted firm, voices shaking, hear us now, we come with war wounds, casting those shackles behind, shaking, not from fear, but from pride. Let's put it like this, I've cried twice. Okay. That's because we've been so moving and I think it's because it's Young Voices that it's been quite so moving. It's been really good. Um, each day has been filled with knowledge and exciting activities and stuff. The, the actual conversations that have happened um, outside and maybe at lunchtime and, or maybe on the way here with the young people um, and just seeing how, how enthused they are about the process and how willing they are to to, to create change themselves and be eager. I wasn't expecting to have a group of students uh, that came in such a high numbers, who are so committed, so engaged, so perceptive, so open-minded. What's really exciting is that you're prepared to use skills to actually create some kind of change. It's for a purpose, it's not just for making money, it's for actually I want to raise awareness about this, you're learning for a purpose and I think that's What's really exciting about this project is the way you're engaging with big issues um, um, and not fear and with no fear. I hope to do something with the knowledge that I've got, do something with you know everything that's in my head. Um, there's a lot in there. I don't actually know what to do with it, but um, hopefully I'll go to university um, with my new way of thinking, my new way of you know going about life, and hopefully in the future. I'll bring about some sort of change um, in a group of people that feel the same way I do.